This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 11, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index managed to close slightly up today by just 0.01 points to 409.07. Total trade volume was light but higher than yesterday, with 107,809 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 523.3 million Khmer real, or roughly 126,500 US dollars. On the main board, only two shares were up, Akleda Bank, which was up 0.27% or 20 real to 7,520 real per share, and the Sienegville Autonomous Port, up 0.16% or 20 real to 12,300 real per share. With the exception of MJQ Education and CAMGSM, which remained flat, the rest of the main board was down. The biggest percentage loser of the day was Pestec Cambodia, down 1.79% or 40 real to 2,190 real per share, followed by Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ, which was down 0.89% or 20 real to 2,220 real per share. On the growth board, DBD Engineering had a great day, up 2.68% or 60 real to 2,300 real per share, while JS Land remained flat. DBD Engineering was also the market leader in terms of trade volume, with 181,090 shares traded at a total value of 415.2 million real, or roughly 100,800 US dollars, accounting for 99% of shares traded on the growth board and around 62% of all shares traded on the main board and growth board combined. Akleda, meanwhile, maintained its lead on the main board with 41,785 shares changing hands at a total value of 76,000 US dollars, which made up close to 39% of the main board's activity on June 11th. The spike in market activity around DBD Engineering can be attributed to the results of the company's third annual general shareholders meeting, which included the announcement of the distribution of dividends for the 2023 fiscal year to Class A public shareholders and Class B founder shareholders. According to the company's disclosure report, a total dividend amount of 1.36 billion Khmer real or over 330,000 US dollars will be distributed, with over 1 billion real allocated for Class A shareholders and 285.6 million real allocated for Class B shareholders. The dividend payout ratio decided for Class A public shareholders is 27.75%, equal to 166.6 real per share, while the payout ratio for Class B founder shareholders is 7.36%, equal to 23.8 real per share. The Khmer real to USD continued to weaken to 4,116 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 105.25. Oil prices settled slightly higher on Tuesday as the U.S. Energy Information Administration raised its global oil demand growth forecast for the year, while OPEC stuck to its forecast for relatively strong growth in 2024. Brent crude futures rose 29 cents or 0.4% to 81.92 US dollars a barrel, continuing a sharp recovery as fears of oversupply have ebbed since Brent closed at $77.52 a week earlier, its lowest since February. Singapore is set to become a leading gold hub as trading shifts east, according to the World Gold Council. Experts say one key reason is the gold consumption in major emerging economies is rising, and a majority of these markets are concentrated in Asia. Spot gold is trading a little over 2,300 US dollars per ounce, up about 12% year to date, and only about 6% shy of the record high it hit last month. Lower confidence in other investment options such as real estate and equities is also a factor behind the demand for gold, analysts say. Apple's shares surged over 7% to a record high on Tuesday, nearly regaining its crown as the world's most valuable company for Microsoft, a day after the company unveiled new AI features meant to rekindle demand for iPhones. The S&P 500 rose 14.53 points, or 0.3%, to 5,375.32. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 120.62 points, or 0.3%, to 38,747.42. The Nasdaq Composite rose 151.02 points, or 0.9%, to 17,343.55. This was Darshan Agauchen with your B2B Cambodia Market Update for June 11th.